So a true false test has seven questions, and suppose students each uh, sorry enter each answer each question randomly just by guessing. Um, how many different patterns are possible for the answers uh, to the seven questions on the test here? Now, a lot of times when people first look at this, their gut reaction on this is to say, "Oh, that's easy, seven times two. but that's incorrect. Okay, the reason why that's incorrect here is because you got to understand what these numbers represent here. This represents one choice out of seven options. So you're obviously grabbing that number because you're referring to the, the number of questions here. But what this would mean is you're only choosing to answer one of those questions. That's it. And then there are two options there for, for that question. And so you're getting 14. There are 14 different ways you could answer one question and that's it. So that's not what we're asking for here. The expectation is that you're answering every question and there are seven questions. So there are seven subtasks to complete, okay, to, end, to finish this test here, and there are two options for every question. And so the number of different ways that this could happen would be two to the power of seven, or 128 different patterns of true and false that could be um, given for this particular example.